Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. So I'd like to welcome you guys to my brand new series called Let's Clash. So basically in this particular series alone, I'll be starting a new account. So as you can see, I'm starting it out now and then just uh, getting my level 1 cannon. So basically the starting of Clash is just uh, this boring itself, uh, just use, doing the same old stuff. And just repeating all over again, I'm pretty sure all of you guys have uh, watched this before. Uh, for those who are pretty new to Clash, I'm pretty sure you guys have also watched this. To start off Clash, basically it's a simple tutorial given uh, to us to set up our base and then eventually we will do a simple attack on the glo goblin map. So as you can see, we were given 5 wizards. 5 wizards are taking out just 1 level 1 cannon. Just using 2 wizards is good enough to take them out. Uh, them asking us to deploy more wizards. However, that's not necessary because the 2 wizards are powerful enough to take out the whole entire base. Uh, just having 1 level 1 cannon is just pretty weak against uh, wizards. Wizards have high uh, H points. So this is going to be a new series that I'd like to uh, welcome you guys to. Hopefully you guys will stay tuned for it and also carry on the journey with me. Maybe uh, probably maxing up to a uh, Town Hall 9 or probably even a Town Hall 10. Hopefully uh, the journey will carry on uh, to that far. So just continuing uh, building up my base itself uh, given by the tutorial itself. Uh, doing what they asked me to do which technically we can't control especially the level 1 cannon that they have asked me to build. So yeah, basically starting off Clash from the start although having a max uh, Town Hall 10 base is fun, but also starting off Clash all the way from the beginning is even more fun too, especially when you are um, rather experienced a uh, Clasher and then after that um, you'll be able to know the tips and tricks of how to improve the game well. So just uh, fast for forwarding everything for you guys so that you guys don't have to wait for uh, the things to actually cook. And then after that just deploying some troops to take out this um, Archer Tower itself. Um, more tutorials to come. I mean, <clears throat> Supercell, when the way they developed the game was to allow us to have a tutorial so that we actually learn of how to play the game itself rather than to just come in uh, empty handed, not knowing anything. So, pretty much every game is like this, which is you come into a game and it teaches you properly step by step of what to do and what not to do. So, Supercell did a very good job in doing this tutorial, to be honest, because it's a very uh, friendly and user friendly. A way of teaching people of how to even start the game not too uh, um, tough on people whereby it seems too difficult to play in fact when they actually thought how to deploy the troops they thought it in a very ma uh, nice manner especially when the hand gesture came out to touch the screen to just deploy the wizards so um, other tips and tricks along the way I'll teach you guys and guide you guys as I push my way all the way to Town Hall 9 or even Town Hall 10 so yeah just typing my name uh, they just decided to make it as Brandon 3 because I already have a Brandon 2 account which is my defenseless account so brand new series for you guys hopefully you guys will enjoy it and then uh, looking at my town hall upgraded my town hall to town hall 2 so carry on just the tutorial itself uh, the boring uh, same old stuff looking at the achievement which we are asked to watch um, pretty nice achievements to uh, look at especially when they are all no stars especially when my main has really completed almost all so just carrying on, uh, doing more builds, uh, building a cannon over there. And then after that, uh, carrying on to fast forward a bit so that you guys don't wait too long. Once uh, my town hall reached to maybe town hall 4 or 5, then I'll do um, everything in a more live rate manner and whatsoever so that you guys can see and watch everything. As of now, from like town hall 1 to town hall 4, it's pretty much a no-brainer to just uh, build everything um, in a particular manner whereby um, you use your resources wisely at the same time have to use them up if you plan to attack so now I'm trying to spend away my goal deploying you uh, building the walls so that my goal will actually deplete and eventually I will be able to get more gold by raiding other people's bases so for those of you who do not know you get resources uh, by collecting from the resource collectors the gold mines and the um, collectors itself or you could attack other people and steal their resources too. So as you can see, I built my second gold mine. Now we are just proceeding into removing some of the obstacles which will actually give us gems. For those of you who do not know, gems are basically currency, in-game currency, which actually the most valuable currency, they can more, more valuable than even the gold and the elixir and also another third resource which is called the dark elixir. Um, yeah. So now just getting more gold, if those of you who do not know, you can actually get gold from the single player maps, the goblin map itself. So getting gold from there is pretty nice, but 
I'll teach you guys some ways of how to conserve the gold and the elixir from the single player map so that you can use it when you do your upgrades next time. That I'll talk about it in the next few uh, episodes. So yeah, just continue attack the base. It's pretty easy. You don't even have to use my wizards itself, which I actually kept from the tutorial alone. So the barbarians are just going to take out the base itself. Uh, for the goblin map, it's pretty easy. You just have to deploy your barbarians at those defenses. Once the defenses has gone down, you just take out the base totally. So I went ahead and do some normal raids attacks. Um, just using my barbarians and the remaining wizards that I have to try to steal some gold because I needed some gold to upgrade some of the buildings that I wanted to upgrade. So the first few things that you guys should actually focus on if you guys are a low town hall uh, are your resource storages so that you can have enough capacity to do more upgrades and after that to focus on barracks because the more barracks you have, the more troops you can train. More troops you can train means the faster the troops actually come out for you so that you can do more attacks. So attacking is really important because it actually yield you more resources when you go and attack. So now uh, just building another elixir collector. So just building that up. So elixir collector and gold mines, they are the ones that give you generate resources for your base. Now upgrading my gold mine to level 2. So as mentioned, the storage's capacity are important too. Especially if you want to upgrade your town hall, you need like 4,000 uh, gold to upgrade to level 3. So that's something to note for also. For those of you who are very experienced enough in the game, maybe like a town hall 8 or 9, I'm pretty sure this might bore you a bit. But just hang in there. Uh, when we reach to like uh, episode 10, 11 or maybe perhaps 20 or whatsoever, I'm pretty sure you guys will be more interested in it. Maybe in around 2 weeks or 3 weeks time. I won't be using any gems on this base itself. I will just collect it from the obstacles. I won't be buying a single gem. Just uh, maybe boosting my barracks if I'm able to have enough gems from the obstacles. So another base that I attacked, uh, this one was higher in resources. So the thing I mentioned was to take out the defenses first. So I used my barbarians to take out the, the cannon on the bottom left. After that, the barbarians just continued to destroy the whole base. So yeah, this is going to be a series that I'm going to do long term, perhaps getting the account to like a Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10 or whatsoever, and perhaps show you guys uh, some farming strategies that I couldn't show in my farming guide or whatsoever because it's just way too long, and also other tips and tricks of to what kind of upgrades to upgrade first, what kind of things to focus on, and, what, and how to spend your resources wisely so that you can get the best and optimum uh, outcome possible for your base. For those of you who do not know um, and want to take a look at my base, you guys can go ahead and watch the previous few videos. My max base is over there. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.